Listen up parents, I have some amazing tips that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video to support your child through their year 6 SATs exams. Now these tips were given to me by a primary school leader who has over 16 years teaching experience. They are very specific and they will be vital for your child and their success. So let's begin. For maths, and I'm going to be reading through my notes here, they said, be confident with your times table. Know the methods for short and long division and multiplication. Know addition and subtraction of whole numbers and decimals. And know how to multiply by 10, 100 and 1000. That's maths. Let's move on to the next one. SPAG. For SPAG, I've got a whole lot of stuff here. Very specific. So listen up to this. Maybe write some notes. Your teacher will read out a sentence for you and you have to spell the missing word correctly. Now, if the word is in the middle of a sentence, don't begin with a capital letter. Apparently, this is something that happens a lot. So if the word is in the middle of a sentence, make sure you do not use a capital letter at the start of that word, unless it's a proper noun or a name of a place. For that, use a capital letter, because you have to use a capital letter there. Only use a capital letter if the word is at the beginning of a sentence. Number two. For the grammar and punctuation paper, you must ensure that the spelling, grammar and punctuation are all correct. If even one of these things is missing or incorrect, then you will be marked wrong, even if that was not the focus of the question. So be very mindful of that, guys. Make a special note of that. For spelling, there will be a key stage two statutory word list for year five and six, which you can download from the government website. I'll leave a link uh, in the video description. So make sure that your child is able to spell all the words on that list, because some of these words may be included in the spelling test or based around those spellings. So make sure that you go to the government website and download that list and get practicing on spelling those words. Now, moving on to reading. Now the reading is an hour long paper of free text and questions are based on all free texts. It is advised, they advise you. So remember who this is speaking to you, a very, very experienced primary school leader. It is advised to spend one hour split into 20 minutes per text. So these 20 minutes would be five minutes reading the text and 15 minutes answering the questions. So 20 minutes on those free papers, on those free texts. Number two, Key reading skills are tested in this paper, such as retrieval and inference. For the free mark questions, use PEE, point, evidence and explain. Look at what the question is asking you. Say what you think based on the question using evidence. And their tip for you is make two different points based on what is being asked. Moving on to the writing. Now this one is teacher assess. So this is internally done and teachers will give you a grade based on the assessment throughout the year. However, one thing that you can do is to give your child a breadth of reading experiences. So get them reading things like a fiction, non-fiction storybooks, uh, newspaper articles, uh, magazines and poetry throughout the year. Get started on this early. Get, get them into the library. Go borrow some books. You don't have to go and buy anything. You know, make sure that they pay regular visits to the library. And finally, the most crucial advice, remember to teach your children and get them to understand that practice makes perfect. There are plenty of free downloadable resources available, lots of websites offering these, so make sure you download lots of past papers and the mark scheme and get them practicing on those as soon as possible. Don't waste any time, there are only a few months ahead don't, you know, these are young kids, guys. Yeah, you, I'm sure you know this. They get very, very upset. They don't like the pressure. So the earlier you get them used to this, the better it will be. And when they go into those exams, they will feel that confidence and God willing, they will be successful. If you found benefit in this video, please give it a like and make sure you follow and share this with your friends and family. Bye for now, guys. All the best.